On the season finale of Agent Carter, Whitney Frost goes insane, Thompson gets dinner, and Peggy sues his cannon! <laughs> yeah. Hi everybody, I'm Dane. I'm Jackie. And this is our review of the season finale of Agent Carter season two. Now, before we get too into things, there's a lot of spoilers. Obviously. So <laughs> if you haven't watched the whole season, <laughs> go watch it and then come back and join us in the conversation. Indeed. This episode, uh, episode 10, was the season finale of season two of Agent Carter. The pacing and the tone was a little bit different from what we've become used to. It wasn't all like action, action, action. It was just a whole lot of wrap up. Yeah, I mean, there was action, but I feel like maybe there was a lack of drama because everybody knew what needed to happen right from the get go. Then they worked on getting it done. Then they got it done, and then it was over. And then it like, was like 10 minutes of resolution, which it, yeah. which was all lovely. I mean, we got to see a lot of great things, like Jarvis whooshing out the door to go <laughs> escort Peggy on one more adventure to the airport. After like unceremoniously, <laughs> basically puppy dog eyes begging her not to leave. As Charlie Brown music played. <laughs> <laughs> and then, all right, I'll let you drive me. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> we also see uh, Thompson humbled a little bit mm -hmm. when Peggy orders him to go get uh, the dinner orders, and he just, you know what? I will. I'll do that for you, Peg. <laughs> I feel like maybe he feels a teensy bit bad about how things have panned out. Almost trying so... to blow everything up. We get to see him kind of um, grow a little as a character. Yeah. You know, before he gets shot. <sighs> you think he's dead? I'm pretty sure he's dead because they wouldn't have lingered on him that much and not. Bleeding. Yeah, just, I mean, I feel like no one's going to find him in that hotel room for a while. So oh. he's probably dead. And that's, again, you know, I, I was talking about, hey, how are they going to keep this show going? Are they going to keep this show going? And I don't really think they would leave such a loose end. If they didn't think, if they they didn't think it was going to go somewhere. I so, hope so. I mean, in whatever capacity Agent Carter continues, there's at least that to explore. There is the fact that after Dottie escaped, there was pretty much no more word on that. That's true. This episode basically points at, oh, well, maybe the reason she was trying to steal that pin from the bank was because it's actually a key to something. And we still don't know what it's a key to because we just found out. Obviously, that key is linked to the council. Mm -hmm. um, and there's not a whole lot of the council left. I mean, we know from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that they still exist in some way. Like, kind of like a separate entity slash merged with Hydra as being the whole, like... Big bad. Big bad. I, I don't know, because the thing about the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., like, secret society is that their whole goal has been supernatural from the get-go, whereas this council has had a separate agenda that really was more about just controlling all of the normal people stuff. But there's something somewhat supernatural about the zero matter as well. So but that didn't but that's, that didn't even come into play until she like was introduced to them and then became their leader. So if for years sure. ahead of time there was this council and the only thing they were interested in is on the government slash you know, conspiracy side of thing. Right. The two, I think, like remaining alive. It's like Ray Weiss people. and maybe someone else. Yeah, maybe someone else. Maybe they eventually joined Hydra and continued on with that sort of quest thing. But I really feel like those are two separate things. It'll be interesting to see um, if there's a season three. I mean, like if I said. If we see anything of the council left over and how they sort of uh, move on from there. I don't think they would have left it on a cliffhanger if they didn't at least on a certain subconscious level know they were going to get a chance to flesh it out true because let's hope so i hope so too you know all of those things are great and you know i need more dotty in my life and i want to <laughs> know what the pin key is too and blah 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 there's and... still a lot of unresolved things we yeah. have the key uh thompson the file who who yeah the thompson? redacted file like obvious dotty the council if, was that the file that like vernon masters was like this is what i have on peggy and yes. he was like oh well this is what it is and That's... she was like taken aback by it and then i thought they were trying to like write it off as maybe he fabricated it but now apparently it is important it certainly looked like that same file so but, i mean but that's all stuff that we're speculating based on like the literal like last like two minutes 
Not even. Of the episode, because yeah. this episode in itself, if we're going to talk about just the episode, was a lot of wrap up and like because Anna Jarvis is back home and, and like, Peggy's going back to New York. There was a lot of she? like OU moments. <laughs> Howard Stark is back because he had to help them solve the the whole thing. and Because be, he had to show up and save everything. And had to, you know, show us the glimpse of his glorious chest because Dominic Cooper. Um, I mean, he's adorable. I love him to death. I don't know. <laughs> just take the mustache off and I'll... Anyhow, this episode we could just talk about what only happened but i i feel as though we can also talk about the season as a whole yeah and like what we got at the beginning of the season we talked about what we wanted to see yeah well the first couple episodes set this really awesome precedent and expectation for us it's like oh i can't wait to see more of this character or what's gonna happen here and for the most part we pretty much got our wish you got more rose I, yeah we got more rose and i got angie yeah and of course <laughs> of course Peggy and Sousa, yes. finally. I want to talk about that scene a little later. So really, like, what did we not get that we wanted to see? Because <laughs> I feel as though they kind of covered everything. They wrapped everything up pretty well, They, other than the loose ends that could lead into more story. Well, yeah. Everything that we were, like, curious about and or wanted to see more of, we got. They delivered really well. And I, maybe they did it too well? There is one thing I remember you saying you wanted more of that we didn't end up getting. I never got more Bernard. <laughs> Bernard the flamingo, the flamingo was my my favorite character <laughs> that it, I never got to see again. Just the first two episodes and never again. But we did sort of get a continuation of Jarvis versus the animals with the koala and the spiders. <laughs> if there's still doing Marvel one shots. Can I please have a Jarvis goes to the zoo and just gets harassed <laughs> by animals? Please, please Marvel, you will go, you Marvel. do this for me? So you know what you need to do, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Besides get us another season of Agent Yes, Carter. work on that first. That first, and then if you get the chance, Jarvis at the zoo. Yes. <laughs> so can we talk about my favorite we part. We can talk about your favorite part because not only did your ship win, but we got the now kiss. Now um, kiss. And oh boy, did she. So one, your ship was sort of sent off in a very respectful way. Yeah, that's why I'm saying this like whole episode was literally focused on wrapping things up in almost too good of a way because she was like, I had, you know, it was wonderful to having the pleasure Great to meet you, to know you and know you and, you know, have fun in whatever far away place you're yeah, going to be. Wilkes is going to be working for Howard Stark <laughs> in a way that we don't ever have to see him again. Hooray. They don't have to bring that character back. <laughs> Speaking of character wrap ups, um, as lighthearted as that, as this episode was, you know where it got real dark? Oh, Frost. yeah. Like, I know she's evil and I know the mobster is a criminal. But man, that was dark. I felt bad for them both. It's not at all surprising because you figured that something like that was going to happen because the episodes leading up to the finale, she's like gradually becoming more and more beautiful it. mind crazy. <laughs> like you can see the screws loosening. You can see loosening the screws loosening and her just unraveling as a person. It's and nice. it's, it's she, crazy. she, you know, ends up in an insane asylum trying to claw her face out, you yeah. know, just. And it was so awkward because, I mean, the whole reason why they were able to do what they got to do is because, um, stereotype man. Um, <laughs> Joey Italian mob Joey guy. Joey Italian mob guy. <laughs> no, Joseph. That's Joseph. His yeah, his name is Joseph. Was like, I'm concerned about her because I actually care about her. Will you help me? And that's how they were able to resolve things. And even at the end, he goes and visits her and it's real, real dark, dark and heartbreaking because he's just like, this is my life now. One more thing I need to say about... Peggy and Sousa, that scene, the way they played it at the end where they finally kiss, <laughs> finally. You got your little like romantic comedy moment. It was so, he just, Sousa, you slick son of a bitch. You knew what you were doing. <laughs> Bringing her in and chastising her. You knew, you knew. It that was smug look on his face. Was, oh, but it was perfect. Super was earnest. So good. Like, I just, it was played so well on both of their parts. I mean. How it, it's almost like a, a little, not a fight that they're having, but you know, almost, they're almost butting heads. I mean, thank God that chair had wheels because that was an aggressive kiss. Yes, it just turned into <laughs> what? No, no snarky comment. 
Attack. <laughs> Tackle. And it was beautiful, and it was everything I wanted so, from the ship, and it was a long time coming, and I am so happy with that. Barring story. any other weird, unusual circumstances brought up by more Agent Carter story, Agent Zuza, and she live happily ever after, and that's who she's talking about in Winter that, Soldier, and I'm just so happy about things. So all in all, great season. This yeah. episode was, it, it was all wrap up, but you know what? I was okay with how pretty much everything wrapped up, except for I, I had hope for Thompson, but you know, he he went out a hero kind of. He went out at least with his like conflicts resolved. Yeah. He grew, he For the changed, most part, or anything, learned, any conflict died. that wasn't resolved was something we didn't know about yet. Hopefully, the ending of this episode is not a false promise from Marvel. Season three. Season three, Do it, please. ABC. Do it. I mean, do, do it. it. And, and then give me my Jarvis, Jarvis the Zoo. The zoo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, speaking of this season as a whole, like you said, how do you think it stacks up against the first season of Agent Carter? Honestly, I think it did get better. They developed the characters a little bit more. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, everything was so action packed. Every single episode, it was always done in a way that it didn't feel crammed. It was just, it, it just kept moving. I had a hard time finding anything that I didn't like about each episode I mean, for these reviews. As our as our episodes dictate, we pretty much just vamped about how great things were <laughs> for for ten episodes. As as a general rule, you know that there's that stigma that people. People like don't like sequels as much as they like the original but I tend to like sequels when they're done right because first things like first seasons of shows first movies origin stuff has the task of introducing everything that no one is familiar True. with at all but then season two can come or sequel of movie whatever and you're already familiar with at least some of the characters mm -hmm. and how things work and the tone and whatever plot has already developed so you can just take that further and that's what they did they took characters that you were already familiar with and stuff you already knew what was going on and explored it to a more extent but it's not know. even a sequel though as the second season of a show it's usually the same team of people and like you said they're just developing it further well i mean that's why i like it because you've gotten so much intro out of the way True. they you know they didn't waste any time getting right into it and there was a lot going on but you still got you still felt like you got enough face time with all the characters and everybody you know had their own stuff going on and it, they all had their shining moments yeah <laughs> I'm looking forward to season three. Yes, I am also looking forward to the <laughs> season three of Agent Carter that will definitely happen, please. So thank you guys for watching with us. Uh, we had a great time this season. A lot of fun. Make sure you comment if there's anything you want to add, any questions you have for us, and be sure to subscribe somewhere down there. Uh, for more content from A Play on Nerds, for more reviews and podcasts and game streaming and all sorts of fun content. Hopefully we'll be back when there's a season three. But until then, we'll see you around. Yeah, bye. bye.